Hey guys, this is Natash, and we're here with some more Life is Strange. Episode 4 just came out, so we're going to move right along with that. But first off, like I already know the first thing that's going to have to happen is figuring out what the hell's even going on anymore. Alright, alternative beach. Let's do this. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Wow, they managed to make it make even less sense. I was kind of wondering how they were going to try and compress everything that happened into just that. Square Enix. In conjunction with Don't Not Entertainment. I actually have no idea how that sounds on this mic. Life is Strange. Episode 4, Dark Room. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. 
But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. I gotta be honest. This whole conversation You're is a just... survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. It's so tragic. I don't feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Okay. I gotta be honest, this whole conversation is just... Tragic. Considering who she was before all this. Especially since it's really my fault. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off when I flew into a ditch. Do you... remember everything? I saw... everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I... Literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I... I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You know, that bullet time thing actually does happen. I was in a car accident. It's... It is actually a real thing. It's not awesome. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. So Rachel Amber is still missing in this timeline. Chloe had nothing to do with it. I'm sorry, it's like... Right now, I'm kind of, I'm trying to piece the story together in my head, because we ended the last episode by rewriting the entire timeline. Now I'm kind of trying to piece back together what's going on. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. <laughs> You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. That is her word. Honestly, this whole thing is just so tragic because... You know, we remember who she was and... It's just all falling apart. And it all came from the best possible intentions.
save one life, ruin another. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh. Oh, it was right there. Drink up, buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like just yesterday. Now hang on. I still need to piece together what happened. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As Deal. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good. Dr. Bill? Considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and No, William you don't think her. about that with your Max. parents. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. <sighs> okay, to be honest, medical bills after a car accident, they're ridiculous. Like, especially when the freaking hospital doesn't copy stuff down right. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? 
Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. <laughs> I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. So in here. Uh, there we go. There's the DVD. Yeah, not that one. There we go. I just had to reset my mouse so the sensitivity is weird. Oh yeah, who fell asleep? <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Confirmed he is, actually. Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, I know what that feels like. Pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom. Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? <clears throat> okay, yeah. Got it. Talk about Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Uh, let's talk about Being Joyce. Being Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. 
So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh, no, it's kinda... the apocalypse. Okay, uh... Weather or Rachel? Um... What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Do you know anything better? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Well, the Prescott family, the Prescott maybe? family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Alright. Now we can talk about the care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must... Be hard on you guys financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. All right. So. Yeah, let's see what. Just say, dear sir, you are screwed. Yeah, that's basically what they do say. That's basically it. All right, let's see what Victoria wants. Just trying to figure out what I missed here. Oh shit! I think, I think for the past three episodes, I forgot to water the plant in my room. Fuck. All right, so. There's the crowd Max was hanging out with in the, like, last time on Life is Strange segment. These guys are like the school bullies. They, in the last timeline, they were picking on you the whole time. And Alyssa. This timeline, you're part of the group. One of the running gags with Alyssa was... She kept getting stuff thrown at her. And you could use your time travel abilities to stop it. Nathan. Nathan Prescott. Remember how the guy said the Prescotts were horrible people? This guy's a psychopath. And in this timeline, he's her best friend. Ugh, this is so hard to actually figure out here. Okay. I have my time travel abilities. I still have my time travel abilities. I'm all right. How's it going, time tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah, back in the old timeline, Chloe got into drugs after her dad died. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. 
Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Alright, uh, where's the... Hang on, where's the photo? There's a photo album. It's like... All of this is just the happy sort of... Sad. Life's going on. Even when it okay? doesn't seem like it should. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Oh shit, I know what's about to happen. Like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Damn it. One way, if I use that picture to reverse all of this, it's still gonna ruin her life. There's no way this is not going to... There's no good option here. I think I don't know would be to go back in time. I don't think I can do that though. I don't know, I just... You know what? I gotta go with, I don't know. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's gotta be another way. 
Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. I don't know if I can go back and undo all that. Like, I don't know if I would refuse all of that and then it wouldn't work. It's the one thing I can do here. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Damn it. Okay. There's still time. I can still do this. I'm sorry, William. There we go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. Uh, this is a keeper. Okay, that works. I had to switch to using a controller for that. Hey, honey. Damn it. What? And now I've got to let this innocent person die. I'll come pick you up. He's about to go. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't See, he's gonna go pick up. He's gonna go to pick up Chloe's mother from the grocery store. That makes all of us. He's gonna get into a car accident and die. There was something I could have done to stop it. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, 
I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Damn it.